Hello. Hello, this is Weber 911. Am I, was I speaking to you? I think we were disconnected. I think we were. I need okay. a... Okay, what's going on at that address? I have the address here. Um, he is threatening to commit suicide. He has guns in the house. His mother's in the house. And has he given you a method? Has he said he's going to use the guns, or what exactly did they say? Did he say he was going to use the guns? Yes, he did. Yes. He's going to go. Yes, okay, he said he was going to use... name? His name is Stephen Kirkman. And do you know his date of birth? What's his date of birth? Is it... Okay, thank you. Will you spell Stephen and Kirkman for me? I want to make sure I have it correct. Uh, S T E V E N K I R K M A N. I need you guys to get there. His mom's in the house. Okay, we have officers on the way now. Okay, what exactly did he say to you? Um. Take care of his sister. I'm I'm so sorry. Can you say that again? I can't. I can't understand you. Well, <laughs> he said to take care of his sister because he was killing himself. That is going to be tricky, Todd, on this landing. Doors open. Okay. Go taser. Taser. Steve. Steve. Steve, let me see your hands. Where's the gun? In his hand. Ma'am, come out here. Is it the rifle? Yes, in a hand. Steve, let me see your hands. He's got the gun in his hand. Steve! Ma'am, come out here. Come out, ma'am! No, no. Back out, back out. Ma'am, come out. Ma'am, you're making this worse. We were 318. If you got somebody else, he's got the 88 to him, and she's refusing to come out. He needs help. He needs help. I know, but you got her right here. He needs help. Yeah. Ma'am. I need you. We want to help him, but you got to come out. Okay. Out. Back up. Back down. Side. It's just a suicide. Come on. Come on. Don't shoot. Come on. Come on. Go downstairs. Go downstairs. Go downstairs, ma'am. Go downstairs. Go downstairs. Go downstairs. Three fifteen. We got mom out, and we are backing out. Is there, is there anyone else? Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on. Let's get out of these stairwells, okay? It looks like it's a it's a rifle. Put the gun down. It's a rifle. Put the gun down. It looks like it's a. It looks like it's a shotgun. Listen, man. Hey, you know me. Hey, we talk all the time, bro. No, if you put the gun down. Put the gun down. I'm not going to come up there with the gun in hand. I, wa I will talk to you, but you need to put... No, put the gun down. I'm not going to come talk to you with the... Okay, put your hands up. I will come talk to you. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Come down the stairs. Come, I will talk to you. I will personally talk to you and take care of this. Come down. Put, no, put your hands up. Do you want me to talk to you? Please, man, don't make me do this, okay? I've talked to you so many times. Don't make any of us do this. Okay? Please let me help you. 
I want to help you, but I cannot come up there. I need you to come down to me. We're not going to harm you. We're not going to hurt you. Okay? But please don't make me do this. I don't want to harm you. I don't want to have to do anything to you. Will you please come down here and talk to me? I can't hear you, bud. Will you please come down here and talk to me? Come down the stairs. Please come down to the other platform. Come down to the bottom so I can talk to you. Steve, I can't hear you. I want to talk with you, but I can't hear you. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Keep your hand out of your pocket. Come down. Keep your hands where we can see them. Not yet. He's sitting on the stairs. Steven, come down and talk to me, please. Listen, man. Remember, remember the sticker that I got you so you could put it on your truck? The one that I see out here driving all the time? The one that you put the music on and everything? Okay, I want to keep seeing that. I can't hear you, man. Can you put it on speakerphone for just a second? <laughs> Steve? Hey, hey, Steve, I'm Officer <laughs> here. I got your dad here. We, we got some help down here for you. We got the mobile crisis. Uh, we got some therapists out here ready to talk to you. So we got some help down here. We're just waiting on you. We got your dad right here who wants to talk to you as well. Hey, Steve. This is the sergeant. I'm the commander on duty right now. Um, are you going to hear a couple bangings? I'm just going to evacuate the two people below you. Is that okay that I do that? Just for so everybody's on. No, the people below you. Why can't they? Why can't we free them? Well, everybody's scared out here. They all wanted. Nobody wants to be here. Steve. Go ahead. You, hey, I'm you a... have your own concerns with you know, whatever you're going through, but we, we want to get the people that are innocent out of here. Is that okay? They are safe. I'm not going to do anything. But do you understand? I, I can't provide them that safety as long as there's rifles out, you know, and stuff like that. I gotta give them the safety to get them out of the house. No one's gonna go up to the third level. We're just gonna take out the two bottom two people, and that's it. Okay, but can I take those people out? Is that okay? Are you okay? I'm, 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 being I'm telling you what I'm doing, Steve, to, to show you that I'm not trying to do anything tricky. You know what I mean? I'm just... They don't need to be evacuated. Steve, I'll, I'll talk to you, man. Uh, but just under, like I said, you've, you've committed no crimes, all right? We, you're experiencing... Uh, uh, an outcry for help, which we're, we're, we need to give to you, man. Okay, there's one of two things that are about to happen. Okay. Okay. Yep. And what, and what are those things, Steve? I don't want to harm any of you because I like all of you. Appreciate it, Steve. We we like you as well. But if anyone comes through that door in this moment, um, uh, Steve, I understand this. We're not coming to the door. All right. And we even go home. We once we get you some help, once we can get you to talk to someone, we are, we will leave. That's the only thing we have to do is get you to talk to somebody, somebody that can help you out, man. Do you agree? Okay. To, do you agree that? You might need Did to... Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. Yeah, I heard what you said. And understand, okay, we're not coming to the door, Steve. Then it's going to be in your best interest to go home. But, Steve, what about you? We're here to help you. It's going to be in your best interest to go home. Well, Steve, my best interest is to help people that live here in Roy. And you're one of those people. Okay. One of few things is about to happen. And we're not coming to the door, Steve. I'm going to fire around out that door, or you're going to leave. 
Uh, let's, 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 let's we will leave up. as soon as I get everybody evacuated. We are done. We will leave. He can do whatever he wants in that apartment. We will leave as soon as hey, I get everybody evacuated. Did you hear that? As long as they can get the people out of this apartment, they'll leave. Okay? Then, then we can all talk. They've got to get the people out from underneath the stuff. Second tier. Okay? Okay, Steve. So what we got to do is we just got to get those people that are right below you out and we are leaving. Okay? That's what you want, right? That's what we can do. Okay? We're not coming up to your story. We're not coming up to the third level. We just got to get the people out of the second level is all. All right? I have eyes on you. What's that? I have eyes on you. That's all right. It, what, what do you want to do? You want to come out of the, while we go get the second tiers? You can leave them there. They're not going to be harmed. I know, Steve, but it's we got to also look out just to make sure. I I, I believe that. I believe that you that you would, uh, won't harm them, but they are also sitting there just really scared. So part of our job is also to make sure that they're safe. So we'll get them out if that's good, and we'll let you stay here. And uh, I mean, if you if you don't want to accept the help that we're trying to give you, we will leave. Okay. Well, we got to get those people out of the second level first. You want to come through that door, Steve? We're not even coming to the third level. Okay, he's saying he's, he can see everybody. Just watch the cover. Okay, we're not coming to the third level. Come through the door. Well, we're not going to do that. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, let me the door. We, are you wanting to talk to us, Steve? Just cracked open right now. Steve, we, Steve, we have one apartment left, and we are leaving, okay? They just don't know what you got going on. Are you okay to just talk to us for a minute? Yep, but tell them to lower it, or that's going to be the last thing. Okay, Steve, do you have any gun with you fast? Just let me know that. Tell the guy in the blue shirt to lower it. Tell the guy in the blue shirt. Whoever's got a blue shirt with a rifle pointed at him, he's very agitated by the blue shirt. Which blue shirt? I think we're all in blue, Steve. He just lowered it. Tell the other guys to. I've let him know. Yep, we just got one apartment, Steve. And then we're uh, we're we're leaving. We're moving cars, and we're getting out of here, man. Okay, but it's just one more apartment left. Okay. And then we're going to be leaving. Okay. Well, I'm going to walk outside and grab my shotgun. Okay, well, don't grab the shotgun, though, Steve. Just leave the shotgun there. We're not coming to the third level. That ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna grab it and come back inside. Okay, well, we're not gonna we're not coming to the to, to your level, Steve. So I don't know what what you need the shotgun for. To bring it back inside in my position, because would you mind I doing that when 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 we're gone? Maybe would that be better? Just go ahead and grab it when we when we leave. It's gonna happen now. Okay. The advice he's gonna come out. He's gonna grab a shotgun and go back in the house. Ten fourteen. Tell the one that just flashed the light at me that that's a bad idea. All right, Steve. Like I said, man, we're not trying to agitate you. You've done nothing illegal, right? Okay. Well. Tell the one that just flashed her light at me that that's a bad idea. Okay, Steve, I don't know which one that is. There's plenty of them over there. Just let us just okay. quickly get this last apartment out, okay? And then we're going to take off. And then uh, white hat. say again. White hat. A white, white hat. A white, white hat. hat. Behind the black SUV. Just flashed her light at me. That's a bad idea. Whoever's in a white hat, flash the light. He's very agitated by that. Drop the gun. Watch it, Steven. Steven's there. Steven. 
I'm not gonna harm. I'm not gonna harm any of you. Drop the pistol. Steven, drop the pistol, my man. I'm not gonna harm any of you. Yeah, then go. You gotta come down. Say that again. Steven. All right, Steve. Sorry, I was. Uh, I went and delivered the last car. Okay. Are you an officer? Yeah, I'm the one that's been talking to you. I'm officer. Hey, this is going to end one of two ways. Yep, and I. Is it the same ways you were telling us about earlier? Yep. Yeah. Stand. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave, uh, Steve. No. no. You don't want us to leave? We're gonna finish this. No, we're gonna we're finishing it by leaving. Please no. I won't harm any of you, but we're gonna finish this. Just hold that and keep talking to him. All right, he is not content with us going to be backing out. He's saying we will be finishing this. 1014. Just use 10 0. What's the question? What happens if he fires around through the door? The solution is we have the solution. They're right out here. They've been here, which are th uh, trained professionals with people in crisis. Okay, that's the solution. Okay, well, you do what you need to do, I'll do what I need to do. Well, you tell me when you're ready. I, we, we got them down here. They're, they're trained professionals. They're not police officers. Okay, we've got all the resources down here waiting. Uh, and they've been down here the whole time, so. And all they'll right, be here in... Say again? You're gonna need a corner. I'm gonna need a corner? Yep. What corner? You're gonna need to bring him to this side. A coroner? I thought you said a corner. No. No, let, let's. Steve, I know your dad's talked about it. We can work through anything, man. That's. I'm going through difficult times right now. You know what I mean? No. Okay, don't do anything. Okay, he's making threats. He's about to do it. Ten fourteen. You hear a, a shot. Okay, just Steve, listen to me, man. I know the other officers talked to you. That they've talked to you a lot and had very positive interactions with you. Okay. Do you want to talk? Try to talk to him. I don't think I'm getting through it all. Steve. You no, you know they can't leave if you keep threatening this, right? The best thing for you to do would be to just stop making threats and let them go before it gets to a point where we can no longer do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? We are not here to hurt you. They are not here to hurt you. We're all here to help. What's he saying? Hey, Steve, your threats aren't going to help you. Threatening to kill anybody is not helping you. We just want to help. They're, they're offering, they offer to just go, but they can't do that if you keep making threats. Right? The deal was, you would let them get these people out, their cars out, and then, and then they could go and that would be fine, right? That was the deal. What's something that he likes? He says he likes something summer, in the summer. Summer activity, something recent that's happened. Steve, I'm right here, man. I got two 12 gauges and nine mil in my hand. How many bodies do you want buried in the bed? Zero. That's zero. I want zero bodies. Never tell them to leave. Okay. Tell me, tell me, uh, tell me what. The next thing inside of your mouth better be, have a nice night, not let the leave. 
Oh, there wasn't a sniff out on the ballot. Was he not accepting the going number two? Your choice. All right, Mondo, we're starting to lose uh, rapport with him over here. He's getting agitated. Uh, yeah. I, I, I did talk to uh, the apartment I manager. I the yeah. Yeah. I one thing. What? Let who know one thing. What? Why? Because it's going to be over from there. He's raising the shotgun. Steve! We need you to put the gun down. We need you to come to the front door with nothing in your hands, please. What's he doing? Can't see him. We need you to come to the front door with nothing in your hands. So he's got us, huh? Yeah, so he's got to still be on the thing because he slid the... Steve, we understand you're bleeding. So we want he slid you to get the, screen, the screen door back closed. Yep. So... Steve, we need to get you medical help. Come down to the base, or come down the stairs with no gun. He's aiming it. He's aiming it. He's aiming it over here. He's pointing it like. Okay. He just racked it. Yeah. 